A Nine of Engineers by Frederick Sanders Written for the Railroad Man's Magazine This is recorded to celebrate the ninth anniversary of LibriVox. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. No doubt, you know, it has often been stated that baseball stars are greatly in demand, and the scarcity each year grows unabated. Though scouts have searched throughout this baseball land, there's a scheme, I've wondered why they haven't tried it, for to me a very good one, it appears. If I owned a team and wished to win the pennant, I'd choose my men from railroad engineers. Every player who has won fame on the diamond in his work relies on signs to some degree. Every engineer that ever pulled a throttle is one well versed in signals, you'll agree. His ability, the basis to encircle, if his past you take as a criterion, would compare with any of the celebrated. He's trained in knowing how to make a run. At bat, he would be rated with the leaders. His eye is true and steady are his nerves. The strikeout route he would refuse to travel. He's too experienced in hitting curves. Another fact the dope reveals, worth mention, he'd grace the pitcher's box, so it would seem, with qualities that go to make the majors. He has the speed, in other words, the steam. He'd make a short stop. This he oft has proven. He'd pick up everything that came his way. And if perchance it was found necessary, he'd switch in any station he could play. He'd cause no demonstration on decisions that were close and would affect the final score. He'd show no willingness to run the mogul of the game, for he has been called out before. End of The Nine of Engineers by Frederick Sanders Recorded by David Lawrence April 2014 in Brampton, Ontario, Canada.